Cralo is a state historic site. The oldest construction that we're certain of on this spot uh, was done in the 1660s, and we believe some of the foundation walls in that building go back that far. Uh, the most of what you're seeing is uh, from 1707 and then some recent additions. I say recent, they were put on in 1762, and then some uh, restoration work that was done in the 1930s. Everything inside here was restored, which actually lends itself better to a, a museum space than a traditional historic home, where we tell basically the overall history of New Netherland and, and really specifically to the Hudson Valley. Uh, and that, that story is really is a mix of three different groups of people. It's uh, the Dutch colonialists and settlers and Native American trade partners and uh, Native Americans who inhabited this valley uh, prior to European contact and the enslaved who were trafficked here after 1626. The map on the far wall is something we'll take a look. It's good to sort of take a look at as you head out of the room in a few minutes. Um, and it sort of maps all the places around the world where the Dutch were involved in trade and colonial ventures. It, the Dutch involvement starts with capturing vessels that, ha that are transatlantic slavers and then taking those enslaved people and then either selling them in Spanish and Portuguese ports uh, or trafficking them to their colony. Most of what we've seen so far are museum exhibits that were put in, as I said, around 2009. This is the cellar kitchen for the 1707 house. What we're looking at is the footprint and the foundation of that 1707 Cralo. Um, uh, this would have been the cellar kitchen for the house itself. We're very confident there was an enslaved cook who lived and worked in this space. Um, we don't know her name, we don't know really even for a, a fact that she existed. Uh, we know the names of a couple of other people who are mentioned in Van Rensselaer Wills, so the people who lived here, um, but uh, they don't specifically mention an enslaved cook. Um, but at one point in the mid-1700s, there were about seven enslaved people on, in this house or on this property, and it would have been unusual in the mid-18th century to have an enslaved group of people here and not have an enslaved cook. It was, it was one of the more common houses.